Drummer has just had a huge upgrade here in Logic Pro for iPad 2. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to use the new Session Player Drummer. Let's go. To add a drummer track, we're going to go into Tracks View Mode and down here where we've got Session Player, make sure that Drummer is selected and then tap and it'll open a brand new drummer track. By default, you'll get eight bars of the pop rock drummer. You can play it by hitting play. But there are some important changes and improvements that have been made to the way we use drummer here in Logic Pro for iPad 2, which we're going to dive into now. When you add a new drummer track, the editor window is already open. However, if it's closed and you want to get back to it, just make sure the track's selected and tap on the editor button in the bottom. Let's take a look at the interface. In the top left corner, we have the different modes from our standard editor, our automation mode, and the brand new chords mode, which I cover in another video you can find linked in the description. For now, we're going to go back to the standard mode here and let's go through all of the options that we have. First up, we have the preview button. This lets you preview any changes you may have made to your drummer. It'll automatically set a cycle for just that region and play it back. Tap again to stop. Next are your presets. So we can tap on the preset button and you can pick from one of the predefined presets. Let's change up to the paper hearts and hit the preview button again. To change the drummer we're using, we simply tap right here on the big drum icon and we can pick from a whole bunch of rock, songwriter, alternative and R&B drummers. You can also tap at the top here and change the type of the session player to electronic drummer, a percussionist, a bass player or a keyboard player. And a cool feature that's been added is the ability to either change the patch, which means the type of drum kit that that drummer is playing or leave it on the same one. For instance, if I take the change patch off and change to the hard rock drum, it'll change the patterns, but it won't change the actual drum kit that this drummer is using. If instead I want to change the player and the drum kit, I make sure that change patch is on. And then if I go to this funk rock drummer, it's going to change the drum kit as well as the drummer. The complexity slider tells the drummer how complex the beat should be. Everything from a very simple beat like this to a super complex one like this. The intensity slider controls how hard the drums are hit, everything from like a gentle soft touch to really slapping those skins. Next up is the first of our patterns selectors. To change the pattern for our hi-hats or cymbals or tom drums, we tap and choose a different pattern from the pattern selector. You can even make your own pattern, which I'll show you later in the video. You can also choose whether you want hi-hats, cymbals or tom drums as the main element in your drum beat. And we also have patterns for the kick and the snare. To change that, we tap here and choose from any one of these patterns, which we've got a whole heap to choose from. So just tap on pattern seven and it changes to that pattern. And if like me, you're a big fan of the follow feature here in Drummer, it has returned and it's been improved. We can follow the chords track, which is something that we cover in another video you can find linked in the description, as well as following another track. So if I want to follow this bass track, I can select that. And now the drums will be based around the bass track. If you want it to be just around that bass track and ignore the chords, we can actually turn that off as well. Next, we have the fill amount. This is how often the drummer will move away from the regular beat and add in some fills. So we can have everything from no fills at all to all the fills in the world. Fill complexity does exactly what it sounds like. It either plays some very basic fills when it's dialed down, or you can get some really fancy fills if you turn it up. The swing option adds swing to our drums and you can change it from a 16th to an 8th note by tapping there and then dialing it up. If you get a really swingy drummer, it's going to sound like this. And if you want them to stick right to the beat, you can dial it all the way down. To change the drum kit without changing the drummer, we need to load a different patch. To do that, we go to our browser by tapping in the bottom left here and going to instrument patches. You can preview a new drummer patch by tapping out here. And to change your kit, just tap and drag and drop it onto the track. Or if you've got the auto replace set, all you need to do is tap on the drum kit and it will automatically replace. To preview the new sound with your drummer, just tap on the preview button. 
and hit the browser button again to close. If you've made a bunch of changes and realize you want to go back to the default, all you need to do is tap in the top right on the three dots and tap on this one, recall default, and you'll see it resets everything in the drummer to its default. And if you also want to reset the drum patch, the drum kit we're using, go load default patch and you'll see the smash kit is added back to our drummer. Sometimes with drummer, you've dialed in all the options you think are gonna sound good, but it's not quite right. Well, now we've got this cool little button, which will actually reset the drums with a slightly different pattern. So each time you press the button, you get a slightly different pattern. Great if things are not quite right and you wanna try something a little different. Another welcome addition to drummer is the lock options that we have in the top right here. Go to your lock settings and you can lock in the fills, you can lock in the amount of swing, and you can lock in the settings for your drummer. Great if you don't wanna change, but you wanna still tweak some other parts of your drum performance. But it doesn't end there. We also have the details tab, which takes us into a whole additional set of options that we can dial in with drummer. Ghost notes, these are those little hits that you hear between the main hits on the drums. You can turn this up and your performance will add in a whole bunch more ghost notes. Next, we have feel. So we can turn this to pull or to push. And it's kind of hard to explain, but easier to hear. When you have it on pull, it kind of sits a little bit behind the rest of the track. Whereas push, you guessed it, pushes the track along by being a little in front. Dynamics controls how much difference there is between your loudest and your softest hits when it comes to your drums. So if you wanna have a heap of different dynamics to really shape it up, you can turn it around to that side. Or if you want a very even level drum performance, you can drop that one down. The snare option finally lets us decide which snare hits we want. You can either leave it on automatic or if you want the snare to always be in the center, you can choose that one. We've got rim shot, side stick or tom. So if we change this one to side stick is going to change up the performance to only hit the snare with the side stick. Our percussion has been moved here to the details tab as well. So it's off by default. We can add tambourines, shakers and claps in here if we desire. We can control the hi-hat as well by tapping this one, either automatic, closed, half closed, half open, open, or wide open. So if you wanna get a really different sound, you can open up that hi-hat and get something like this. The tempo control here, we have half time, standard, double time, or automatic, which is great because we can really have control if we want to slow down and do say a half time section. Let's take a look at that one. Or if you want to go all punk on us, you can go to double time. And finally, the humanize option with this one, if you want it to be like a drum machine and be right on the beat every time, you can dial it down to 0%. Or if you want to get a little bit more loosey-goosey, you can dial this one up and you get a much more natural human kind of feel. The final tab at the top of drama is manual. Now this is great because we can actually design our own kick and snare pattern. So if there's a really particular kick and snare pattern that you wanna use, you can tap it in here and then your drama will actually follow that pattern. By default, you'll have one bar. You can change that by tapping in the top here and adding two, three, or four bars if you wanna program in a more complex beat. In the top right here, we have some options here. We can copy and paste between different patterns and you can hit the reset button if you wanna go back to scratch. Finally, if you're creating a whole song, you will want to use multiple regions. And the way you can do that is to tap out to the right here, tap again, and then tap on this one, create session player regions. And you can create as many different regions and customize each individual one with all of the different settings. There you have it, the drummer session player here in Logic Pro for iPad 2, an amazing improvement to what was already a great feature. If you'd like to learn a whole heap more about the new features in Logic Pro for iPad 2, check out the other videos down in the description.